What's up everybody? So Lexus has debuted the 2022 IS 500 F Sport Performance that finally gets the wonderful sounding 5 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine. So it does 472 horsepower, 395 pound feet of torque, and it's the same motor you get in the LC 500 as well as in the RCF and the GSF. And so instead of being a full F model, this is the first vehicle to get this new F Sport Performance branding. So this IS 500 will be exclusive of the North America and it essentially takes the IS350 F Sport and adds the V8 and a few other little changes. One of those changes is the quad exhaust with the stacked tailpipes that Lexus says is inspired by the full F models even though it looks identical and they describe it as a throaty and ferocious sound and uh, I hope it sounds as good as it does in the LC500 convertible because uh, that sounded amazing when I reviewed that last summer but with Lexus's V8s you know usually the dominating sound is that glorious induction note even more so than the exhaust but it'll do zero to 60 in four and a half seconds and it runs all this power through the same eight-speed automatic used in the other rear wheel drive versions of the is uh, another thing that's shared with the other is models is the suspension which carries over the dynamic handling package that was introduced in the 2021 is 350 that i just reviewed last fall and so it includes the adaptive variable suspension and the torsion limited slip differential um, and they've also added a yamaha a rear performance damper to the IS500 here, which they say reduces the structural distortion, delivering increased comfort at low speeds and additional stability and agility at high speeds. And no tire sizes were given, but it appears to be running the same 235 wide tires in the front and 265s in the rear from the dynamic handling package as well, um, which as you can see, looks to allow for a little bit more tail happiness and will mean a little bit less grip than the full F models as well, since those on the RCF and the GSF run uh, 255s in the front and 275s in the rear. Um, but thankfully they have beefed up the brakes to cope with that extra power by adding additional aerodynamic cooling and larger 14 inch two piece aluminum rotors in the front and 12.7 inch rotors in the rear. So that's 0.8 inches bigger in the front and a full inch bigger in the rear uh, than what you get on regular F sports. The last thing they added to help handling are the exclusive 19 inch Enki wheels here that are one pound lighter per wheel in the front and two pounds lighter per wheel in the back over the regular 19 inch F sport wheels. And there's also some other substantial changes here to the exterior to accommodate that bigger engine as well. The new hood is almost two inches higher to give the engine enough clearance and the uh, front bumper and the front fenders have even been lengthened they say to make room for the v8 but they didn't say exactly how much length was added uh, but it seems to be a pretty small adjustment as the front end doesn't really look any different than an is 350 to me uh, but of course we'd have to see them side by side to truly tell uh, but the other exterior changes are a new rear diffuser dark chrome window trim black f sport badges and the f sport rear spoiler there the little lip spoiler and even with that v8 and and the other additions, it's only 143 pounds heavier than the IS350 F Sport, so uh, not too much extra weight there. And lastly, the inside uh, just gets black F Sport badges, the F Sport pedals, and an IS500 startup screen on the cages, and that's it. Uh, would have been nice if they put some sportier seats in it at least, maybe from the RCF or something. Would have been cool to make it a little bit more special inside because it's basically identical to any other IS in there. Um, but overall, it's awesome that they've even given us another V8 powered IS model in a time where V8s are getting rarer and rarer. So, I mean, this is just amazing this thing exists. And uh, even though these aren't limited production or anything, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a future collectible. And so there's no pricing for them yet, but hopefully it will be less expensive than the full F models uh, since it doesn't have some of the other stuff that the F models get. Uh, but they'll be arriving at dealerships later this fall. But anyway, let me know what you think about the IS500 in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.